We're currently moored in Yachting World Marina, giving Tycho a well-earned rest after sailing the 133 nautical miles from Tanner Island to Port Vila on a Faite Island, Vanuatu. Port Vila will be our last port of call in Vanuatu. We've taken this opportunity to see Faite by land and drive the 125 kilometres around it. Today we'll be visiting the Pepio Cultural Village, the Blue Lagoon, the Severi Caves and a local coffee factory that produces coffee from beans sourced from Tanner Island. So come with us as we learn more about the Vanuatu and culture and see some of Ifaite's highlights. Welcome to Vanuatu. Thank you. Thank you. We're Adam and Vicky. After spending three years sailing within New Zealand, we've sailed our 40-foot sailboat to Taiko from New Zealand to Fiji and have since sailed on to the beautiful country of Vanuatu. Our goal for the 2024 cruising season is to sail to Australia. This big adventure we are on is open-ended. We've decided to do this while we still can. Beyond Australia, who knows? It's a big beautiful world out there and we're determined to see as much of it as we can. If you'd like to support our journey, please support our channel by clicking the subscribe button and leaving us a comment. A big thank you to you for watching and a massive thank you to our Patreons for your support and help making this possible. Now, back to the video. So we're underway and the tour guide's lovely. He's very cool. And um, we're just dropping off some car parts to one of his family members first. So we're in a car, it's the second car yard we've been in. And uh, seeing the back streets of Port Vila and then we'll be off. I feel very lucky to be here doing this. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool there. Eh? And it's all just the two of us. Yeah. So. Us and Joseph, the driver. Yeah. So. It's very cool. He's just doing the deal with the car part, so we'll be off again in a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well worth doing, I think. Yeah. Getting a local and yeah. hitting the streets with them. Go and land. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First stop, Pepio Cultural Village. <laughs> it's the letting it's dose of letting the people know that we're here. <laughs> well, that's all. Okay, okay. That's all. Are they coming? No, it's just <laughs> quite nice, eh? Hey? So as Adam mentioned, we're at the Pepio Cultural Village and I think we're slightly early because I remember I emailed them and they said you can come anytime from 9 to 12. <laughs> can hear Joseph there now alerting them that we're here so it's really funny but it's cool really cool so just different way of life in Vanuatu really and Adam and I just love it we're so happy to be here and doing this this is really cool very lucky After a few minutes enjoying the beautiful gardens, Joseph asked us to wait at the gate entrance to the village, and then this happened. Oh. I'll make them right. Thank you. Oh, what a <laughs> Thank you. Did you get for it? Yeah. Let me wait. So welcome to Webby Hodge. And also welcome to Fanwado. Thank you. Thank you. Uh what can happen in this village to get the chance to learn our culture? And we are not from this island, we are from the southern part of Vanuatu, uh, the island called Futuna. Yeah. Yes, beautiful. beautiful. Steep sides, flat top. 
Yeah, that's yes. right. Yeah. Yes. So do you, you passed through a while Yes, we passed to because we sailed to Tena from Tana? Fiji. Okay. And we went past Fortuna. Fortuna, yeah. Yeah, yeah just, just in a distance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Beautiful. Yeah. That's our island. That's what we came for. Wow. So um, I'm going to share some of information how to survive. Hawaii, Hawaii. The Pipio village was a highlight of the day. We learned so much about Vanuatu culture, how they use plants for medicinal purposes, how they catch food, and traditional customs to show bravery. But the best was still to come. Very stunning coastline coming up here, but very rough out here. So I'm pleased we're seeing the roughness from there, not from Tycho, but the big reveal, because this is beautiful. So we'll go slowly and then reveal the blue lagoon to you. Beautiful is this, What do you say? This is how I imagined the water to be in the island. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's have a look. Should I swing in? Okay. Should I jump in on this rope? Right. It's amazing actually, yeah. It's beautiful. Is it open to the ocean? Are you sure you don't want to go swimming? Should I? Yeah, go. Should I I wanna swing on the Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, he's so good at it. Yeah, so this is way off, baby. Hold on. How cold is it? That's beautiful. Yeah. How is it? Nice? You can go up there. In answer to my previous question as to whether this was salt water, a bit of a walk along the lagoon took me to the mouth of the lagoon where the opening to the ocean can be seen. Ifaite's coastline is just spectacular. Along the way we saw many rivers and streams and locals were often seen swimming or doing their washing in them. Next stop was Severi Village. Severi Village is where Joseph lives and he wanted to show us the dugongs that lived in the bay but with it being so windy, and we missed high tide, we weren't able to see any dugongs. But all was not lost. Instead, we picked up his friend Abel, and they took us to see the caves at their village. Many years ago, people from Matasso, okay. Matasso Highland, from Seva, behind the, this big island, came here and uh, they exchanged the, exchanged the, like, um, they give us mat, yeah. like, and uh, we give them uh, yam. They exchange yeah. Yeah. Fish, fish with yam. Ah, yes. <laughs> so they came here and they rest here. Well, there is there, there's some birds. They saw bats, little bats little coming, bats out, coming from, out from the oh, from hole up there. Yeah. yeah. And then when they they on, in the yeah. open space, yeah, then they yes, see the right. water coming out from their wings. Yes. You know? Then they notice, oh, there must be water in here. Wow. <laughs> Yes. And then they go and tell the community, <coughs> they put a big fire here. Ah, yeah? Huh. So this is a piece of rock that comes out, or all of the piece of rock that comes out here. 
Yes. They usually use thick screws. Okay. Yeah. To open up? Yes. yes. Okay. Nice. So when they go inside, they find the water. To mm. find the water. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. and one more scenic lookout before our final stop of our trip around the flight deck. So the tour is coming to an end now and we've just had such a fantastic day. Joseph's done such a great job taking us all the way around Efatei Island and now we're just near Tana, the Blue Pacific Coffee Company. So they make coffee from Tana Island so apparently the coffee beans are grown on Tana and then brought up here and they make the coffee. So we're we were told that the coffee beans are grown on Tanner Island's volcanic soil and cultivated using traditional farming practices. In the small factory, the coffee beans are roasted and prepared for sale. They supply the main supermarkets and many of the resorts with their Tanner Island coffee. It smelled delicious. To end off a good day, Joseph and Ava asked if they could see how we live, so we said sure thing and invited them aboard to Tycho and Adam took them on a tour. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy our videos, please consider subscribing, giving us a thumbs up and sharing with those who you think will enjoy it too. A massive thank you to our Patreons for your support. It means a lot to us. Thank you again and see you next Sunday.